guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about this brush set from It Cosmetics. This is the Rockstar Brushes. It is a limited edition three set kit. So if you're interested in my full review as well as a demo, then keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. This set retails for $35. It includes three brushes and then a sparkly clutch slash brush holder. So I put these back in. They're a little bit dirty, but I did want to put them back in the package just so that you guys could kind of see it. But that is what they look like. And then on the back, it does have the brushes and explains what they are for. You guys already know this, but I am a big believer that you can use brushes for whatever you want to use them for. So if these... This, if you want to use them for things other than what they say they're for, you do you. So let's take this out of the packaging and go through the brushes. So first of all is this clutch. It's just this really, really glittery clutch. And it has a clasp, like a button clasp. It opens up and then you can stick your brushes in there. I probably won't use this. I think if you like glitter things, this would be really cute, like a little New Year's clutch, but I personally likely will not use this. So then we have inside the three brushes, the powder brush, the shadow brush, and the fan brush. So I'm going to talk about them in the order that I applied my makeup with them. So the first one is the powder brush. This one, all of them, the package and handling handles and packaging are so pretty. It's super, super soft and big and fluffy. This powder brush, I first applied my loose powder with it just to set my entire face. And then I went in with my bronzer and I did the 3E motion and I bronzed up my skin. It really is the perfect size to blend out your powder and your bronzer. I love big fluffy brushes for my bronzer. So when I opened up the package and I saw this one, I immediately thought of the hourglass brush that I recently purchased. I, you can see I did a full video on hourglass, which I will link up here for you guys. But these brushes are pretty similar in size and shape. So, I mean, I really feel like you can't tell. And they're both very, very soft. I will say that the bristles on the hourglass one are just a little bit longer, which makes the bristles a little bit more flimsy than they are in the real in the it cosmetics brush but they are still very nice and flimsy and soft both of them have super super soft bristles but i did just want to make that comparison because i've been getting tons of questions about dupes for this hourglass brush and this powder brush i seriously really really loved i also was getting asked how it com how the hourglass one compared to the full powder brush from eco tools and I just want to kind of show you guys how much bigger the Eco Tools one is. It's so much more densely packed. So it's not, you see, the bristles are not like as soft and flimsy because this is just so much denser. So this is super soft and I love this one too, but I wouldn't say this is a dupe for either of these ones. These two are definitely more similar to each other. So if you're looking for an alternative to this hourglass brush, I might go ahead and feel this one and see if this is kind of what you would want. The next brush is the fan brush. I haven't used a fan brush in a while. I applied my highlighter with this. I used to use a fan brush all the time, but I decided I didn't like the one that I had. I can't even remember. I think I decluttered it. I don't, I don't even think that I have it in my collection anymore, but I tried this one out and I really liked it. I feel like it applied my highlight really nicely and it's super, super soft. I like that it is a duo fiber brush and I think that I would use this to apply my highlight i will say though i still like my let me find it i need to get another container because this is way too overcrowded this my luxie 522 i like this one to apply my highlight better than i like the fan brush so i wish brushes like this had more uses I, there's just nothing else that i would use a fan brush for so I do like it, I just don't think that I'll reach for it as much as I reach for my Luxie brush. And then the last brush in the collection was this one. This is the shadow brush. I've gotta say, this is a really big shadow brush. I feel like this is like your whole lid. So I did use this to set down my foundation. I took the creases out of it and then set it down with just a neutral uh, shadow. But 
And I think I would totally do that. If I'm just putting a bronzer in my crease and not doing a full eye look, I would totally use this as well, just to kind of blend that everywhere. But this is not going to be a precision brush of any sort. I did want to compare this one to the Real Techniques. This is the Domed Shadow Brush. I think that these are pretty similar. They're very similar in shape. The Real Techniques one is slightly smaller but they're definitely pretty similar. I use the Real Techniques one for the exact same thing, just blending out a bronzer or something into my crease. So I will still use this. I use my Real Techniques one, so I'm sure I'll use this one as well, but it's not like a brush that I needed in my collection. Overall, out of the three brushes that I got, I would say that the powder brush is the one that I'm going to get the most use out of. And this set retails for $35. It says it's a $58 value. And I personally don't think that I would spend $35 on it. I think I got it. Let me see if I can find it in my email really quick. I had it pulled up. Okay, yeah, I got it on Black Friday and I paid $16 for it. And so I would still say I would get it just because I will use these brushes, just not that much. But this one, um, the powder brush is just so good. And I'm really excited to have this one in my collection. So... If you can snag this on sale, I know that there's a 20% off coupon right now. So if you have access to that, or if you have points or you see it on sale again, I would scoop this up, but I don't think that I would pay the $35 for it. Alrighty guys, that is everything for this video. I hope that it was helpful for you in some way or another. Let me know down below, are you guys fans of It Cosmetics? What's your favorite brush? Is there some brush from there that I need to try out? Or what's your favorite brush from another brand? Let me know all the things down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, bye guys.